What's going on Wix Nation? MPS here from Wix Training Academy and in today's video, I will be showing you how to create a custom user registration for membership for online course websites. If you didn't see my video about two videos ago, I did creating a custom login, a complete guide to member page restrictions, and also the universal Wix login. So if you didn't get an opportunity to catch that video, I recommend you click the card above to check that out. But today we're gonna cover the front end of that, which is the registration. We'll cover the universal Wix registration and the custom Wix registration. So by the end of this video, you will know how to create a portal for you to get members to register for your website to get membership on your website. If you haven't already, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click those bell notifications on. Join our Wix Nation community so you never miss any content here on the channel and you'll also instantly plug into the largest Wix training community on the internet. It's a phenomenal place to be. I'd love to have you, we'd love to have you, and we only continue to grow thanks to you guys. But without further ado, let's jump into today's video. Okay guys, so we're here in the Wix editor. The first thing I'm gonna show you is the universal Wix registration. This is very easy to do and it's very commonly known, but I'm gonna cover it real briefly. So first and foremost, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to add and then you're gonna go down to members and then you're gonna click add to site. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna add a members area to your Wix website. While this is loading, I'll go ahead and let you hit that like button down below and comment because comments really help the video and help the channel. I'd love to know what type of website you're building and or if you're liking the content here on the channel. So what this does is it adds a members area to your website. It adds a my account portion. But more importantly, what this does is if we go back to our homepage, You'll notice it adds a login bar at the top. Now, here's the thing with the login bar. This can be a double-sided thing. Number one, it can be used as both login and registration. So that's first important to know, as in when I did my last video with the login, you guys saw that I also use this as the universal Wix login because this login bar doubles as both. However, the area that you're likely going to want to change is if you click set up login bar, You'll notice on member signup settings, if you click that, you can choose what options shows first, either a new member signup or existing member login. So if you have new member signup, this is gonna prompt someone to register first rather than showing them the login portion first. So this can be seen as a, a good thing or a bad thing depending on what you choose because obviously, even if someone is already a member, it will always prompt the registration first. Now that does not mean that they can't click login from that same portion, because they can, because they can just click login and then they'll log in, but it just prompts the registration first. So that's how you add the universal Wix registration. And it's very nice because it's clean, it's easy, it's across all of your navigation. It's a nice looking login bar, you can customize it. You can choose what shows up here, the profile pick and the member's name, profile pick, or just the member's name. And you can choose the styling of it, which is always really nice. However, that is the universal. Now we're gonna cover the custom Wix registration. And what's beautiful about the custom Wix registration is you, one, have to choose whether you're gonna be using a light box or a page. Now, for the purpose of this video, and I'll explain just like I did with my login video, I'm gonna use a page to follow suit. However, the system is the exact same thing for a light box, you would just choose um, a light box over adding a page. And I've got a bunch of tutorials that were older, um, still applicable, still the same process. If you click the card above that show the custom registration process with a light box rather than a page. And the beautiful thing about the page and or the light box with the custom registration is you can choose exactly how it looks. So you can manage your brand and you can manage that experience of people going to register for an account on your website. It's crafted, it's unique, it's a little bit more boutique rather than the standard Wix login that 
every website has, right? So that's the difference here, and it gives you a little bit more customization. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to add, and or we're gonna go to our page manager, excuse me, and we are gonna click add page. Now, I'm just gonna be adding a blank page here. And then I'm just gonna name this register. Obviously, you guys will wanna get a little bit more unique with your uh, titles, right? But I'm just gonna name this register. And what I am now gonna do is I have to create a means for someone to register and for that information to be sent to Wix's backend system. So what we're gonna be doing is we're going to need to turn on our Velo by Wix development tools. So we'll turn on dev mode because we're gonna be utilizing a code snippet. Now this code snippet can be accessed if you go to wixtrainingacademy.com and you register for the Wix Training Academy. You join the Academy, it's free, and you can access that code snippet. It's using the link here down below uh, in the video, wixtrainingacademy.com. And that's where all of the code snippets and all my videos can be accessed, and it's very easy for you to go use. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shrink that and I'm gonna keep our page code manager down here minimized for right now because we actually have to create a means to have that page code carry out a function. So what I mean by that is obviously I'm going to first add some text um, just for you guys for the purposes of remembering and a little bit of styling. Uh, so I'm gonna to go to Lado Black and I'm just gonna name this register now and I'm gonna center it. And then what we have to do is obviously with any sign up process, with any registration process, you need to collect two core pieces of information. And that's what I'm gonna show you today, which is the user's email and a password. So that way the user can create a password and then log in using that password and email again. In order for us to collect this data, we need to go to add and we need to go down to input. And we're gonna be using a text input field because we'll be collecting email and we'll be collecting password. Now, here's the deal with the text input field. Um, you can choose any of these right here. It doesn't matter which one you choose and you can style it however you choose. To keep suit with the login video, I'm gonna choose this one right here. And then what I'm gonna do is I am going to center it and then I'm gonna copy it because we have an email and we have a password. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on settings for our first one here, and I'm gonna choose the field type to email. Why? Because this forces the user to register with a legitimate email, something at something.com. Um, that's how it has to be registered. Otherwise, someone can, if you just put random uh, text field, someone could theoretically just put a random name, and that's it, and that's not what you're looking to collect at all, you're looking to collect the email, number one, for your membership to build an email list, and two, you need the email so that way they can use the email to log in in the future. So you're gonna change the field type to email. Um, next, you can choose placeholder text. You could say, enter your email, and obviously this needs to be a required field. It is required in order to register. So that's creating the email field. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to do the same thing, but for our password field. And for our field type, we are gonna choose password. Now the password field type is nice because what it'll do is it'll asterisk out as they type in the password. So it adds a level of security. So that's obviously nice for the user knowing that their password is secure and knowing that your site actually values security. Now for same thing, we can enter a placeholder text, enter a password and obviously this field is required. In order to create a user account, we need them to create a password, so that way they can log in with that same password. So now we've got our email and our password field set. Now what we have to do is we actually have to carry out a way for them to submit this information. In order to do that, we need a button. So we are gonna come down here, and you can choose any button you want. Again, for the sake of following suit with our login video, I'm just gonna choose this one. And then we're just gonna change the text on here to say, register now, all right? So now what we've got here is we've got the bare bones of a registration, custom registration here on Wix. Here's what I'm gonna tell you. This is obviously a very, very basic design. I'm showing you guys functionality and development here. 
you can go ahead and you can design this page however you'd like. If you'd rather craft a more extravagant, more branded user experience with, you know, maybe design on the sides, pictures, um, anything with that to show your branding, that's totally up to you and you can totally accomplish that. Uh, you would just design a page like you would design any other page, but I'm showing you the bare bones design. Now what we have to do in order to actually make this function work is we have to open our page code manager. Now what this is gonna do is you'll notice two things. One, Velo by Wix is updated a little bit and we've got our um, ID handler over here, our properties panel over on the right side of the page code. So now we're adding this page code on the register page code. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to copy and paste this page code from Wix Training Academy because we're using the same code. And once again, you can grab this code absolutely for free if you go join Wix Training Academy. You go over to wixtrainingacademy.com, click join the academy, and it'll be under code snippets. You click code snippets, you can grab the code. Now, here's, here's the deal with this code. A um, couple things we have to do. First and foremost, we've added our code onto the page. Now, what we have to do is we actually have to change the IDs of each of these inputs. Why? Because this is essentially saying right now in the code, let register email dot value. Well, okay, here's the deal. We don't have a dot or a register email ID in our page on our code right now. So what we have to do is we'll have to click this input and you'll see over here on the side, it says ID. We're gonna change the ID and I'm gonna change it to register email. Now that now matches up with this code right here, register email. You'll also notice the second word, first letter is capitalized. This is for the purposes of the code. Make sure if you've got two words that the second word is capitalized. Um, so that way it's clean and one, that's how the code registers it. So you can see mine register email. Now we have to do the same thing with the password. So this field ID needs to be changed to register password and that will now correspond to this input field so what this is saying is this code right here registers to this input field this code right here registers to this input field when values are entered here a function is carried out so now we've got both of the fields done now we need the button and this is one of the most important because when this button is clicked you can see on click this whole function is carried out. So in order for this all to work properly, this button's gotta be ID'd correctly. And you can see the ID of our button here is register now. So um, number sign register now. So now we're gonna click on our button and we're gonna change the ID to register now. And now what we've done is we've successfully connected the code to all of our um, inputs right here. and. Essentially what this is saying is this is going to pull data from Wix users, the universal back-end Wix users, and also Wix location to direct us to a new location. And essentially what's going to happen is on click, it's going to pull the information, the values entered into these two fields and register it as members into Wix's system. And then it's going to direct us to a location. So here's what I'm going to give you um, some background on before you do this. When you go to Wix Training Academy and you grab this code, you can use these same exact field IDs that I have used here. If you decide that you don't want to do that, you just have to make sure you change them here in the code as well as here on your field ID. Now, I used, a, I used excuse me, very blanketed basic field IDs that are pretty universal. Register now, register email, register password. So there's really no need to choose them. There's nothing specific to mine that would be very unspecific to yours. Um, but if you did wanna choose them, you just gotta make sure you change it here in the code and you change it on the field ID. But the last aspect of this that you do absolutely 100% have to change is this Wix location.2. So essentially what this is saying is once this information is registered and entered into Wix's, your website as a member, where is it going to direct you? So this Wix location.2 is saying, for my purpose, it's gonna direct them to backslash Wix dash masterclass. Now to find this, what you have to do is you have to first determine, okay, 
What page do you want your members to land on? What page do you want them to go to after they register? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a new page here and I'm going to add another blank page just for the purpose of this video. And I'm going to name this page members area, again to follow suit with our login video. And I'm gonna make this a hidden page, assuming that this is a members only area and that this will be like their members homepage, this is where they'll land. Okay, so now what we're gonna do to get that page extension is you actually have to go here to your three dots, go to SEO, and then you'll see right here, what is the slug of your page URL? And it is members area, just like that. So what you're gonna do is whatever page that you are taking that you are going to have your members land on, you're gonna go to this SEO, you're gonna go to this slug, and you're going to copy it. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to your register page because that code is on your register page code. And you're gonna change this Wix location to, you're gonna keep that backslash, and you're gonna copy that page name. And so what this is now saying is when this button is clicked, the information from here is gonna create a member in your Wix website, and then it's going to direct them to this members area page. Now, just so for the purpose of testing, um, you know it works, I'm gonna go ahead to our members area page, and I'm just gonna add text, and I'm just gonna say members area. So that way, when I test it here, you guys can see how this works. So now that we've got that done, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save it, number one, and I'll just name it registration. I'm gonna save it, number one, and then two, in order for you to actually test out your register and login codes, and again, if you wanna see the login video plus the complete guide, it's in the card above. If you wanna actually test it, you need to publish your site and test it in your live site, not your preview mode. It will not work. The function won't carry out in the preview mode of your website. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to publish. I'm gonna publish the site and then I'm gonna to go to view site. Oh, and one extra step is I actually need to go ahead back to my homepage and I need to add a menu because we just need some basic form of navigation in order to actually show you the test. So I'll go back here, I'll add a menu, so that way we've got our register page in the menu. And then I'll go ahead and publish it again, and we'll give this another run. And I'll go to view site. Now you'll see we have a menu. So I'm a new member, um, let's just say you've got a sales page to try to get me to register as a member. Okay, you've got me uh, interested, I wanna register, become a member of your site. I can one, go to log in and do that, or I can go to register. I'm gonna go to register, I'm gonna use this custom registration. I'm just gonna enter some test details. So test at test.com, and then I'm just gonna enter a test password, right? And now what I'm gonna do is you see this information here. What should happen is this should submit and then take us to our members area. So I'm gonna click register now, and you can see it submitted and took us to our members area, and I even got a alert on my Wix app showing that test just joined registration website because that's what I named the site. So if you have the Wix app on your phone, you can also get notifications every single time someone registers for your website. And so everything worked, everything went through, which means this was a successful process. If this video helped you guys out, I would kindly ask that you drop a like down below. If you haven't already, well, before we get to that, make sure you comment as well. Comments help the video, comments help the channel, and it helps me to understand if you're enjoying the content, what type of content you'd like to see me make in the future, and what adjustments I can make. And lastly, if you haven't already joined our Wix Nation community, it would be much appreciative if you could smash that subscribe button turn those bell notifications, and instantly plug into the largest Wix training community on the internet. We're only continuing to grow thanks to you, and I would love to have you. We would love to have you collectively as a community, and I'm excited to see you here more often. And one last disclaimer, if you haven't already, remember that you can get this free code that I used today for the registration code on wixtrainingacademy.com. Join the academy. It's free. Open up to you and you just click code snippets and you can grab it and use it on your site. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I will catch you in our next one.